from the 1011 Now Streaming Studio, this is 1011's Morning Pulse. Good morning, I'm Danielle Shank with your Morning Pulse for Wednesday, November 29th, 2023. A much smaller crowd than anticipated trickled into the Lancaster Event Center throughout yesterday. Most of the 250 chairs set up remained empty. Only 77 people testified before the DHHS on the proposed health regulations for transgender youth. In October, the state agency implemented temporary emergency regulations, which a vast majority testified against, saying it makes it harder for them to be trans. The DHHS will review all testimony and written comments before finalizing the regulations. Across the state, schools must comply with various mandates, including some unfunded ones that require schools to bear the costs. Senator Lynn Walls is now looking into those mandates. She introduced Legislative Resolution 166 to reassess existing unfunded unfunded mandates and explore solutions for future ones. The goal is to identify unnecessary mandates and consider funding options for essential ones. The governor is mandating the end of remote work for state employees, requiring them to return to offices at the beginning of next year. The state employees union is now stepping in, saying their contract with the state guarantees bargaining before major changes like this can be made. The executive director disagrees with the governor's view that it's a common sense expectation for employees to work together in an office for increased productivity. Sticking with the governor, he's commending the University of Nebraska Athletic Department for raising money for their new $450 million renovation project at Memorial Stadium rather than using state funds. According to the Nebraska Examiner, Pillen recently stopped short of saying that no state funds should be used. He said it's been a discussion, but it's not his top priority. This comes as the university grapples with a $58 million budget shortfall. In lighter news, the Nebraska State Fair is set to unveil its concert lineup for the 2024 fair, providing big bonuses for early ticket purchasers such as prime seating or significant discounts. Two announcements are scheduled for December, with the first being on the 5th. In total, the fair plans to showcase seven national concerts for the 2024 fair, encompassing both indoor and outdoor performances. Rounding out your headlines is a check of the seven-day forecast. You've been listening to 1011's Morning Pulse. Watch, listen, stream on the 1011 Now app, on YouTube, or wherever you get your podcasts.